This is probably a work of fiction. Hello everyone. You fall into play next for bringing everything that is awesome in gaming. This is Shadows on the Vatican. It looked so... We love the noir aspect that um, doing things like um, the Council and Shadow on the Vatican, etc. Um, produced for us. So we follow that an awful lot. It gives you comic book themes. It gives you the gritty um, urban themes. And you don't usually think of that. So this is Act 1, which is Greed. <laughs> Africa, 1996. An incredibly gripping, sort of... Where it plunges you right into it emotionally. Finally here. What are you doing? We must regain altitude! We can't leave them! Your Eminence Delario. What? There's an Eminence in there? My god. Why, Delario? What happened? You wanna- I wanna know. James 38 is an ex-priest who decided to become a doctor after a rough breakup with the Catholic Church. Serious and unselfish, he stands openly against the ecclesiastical authority, but his trust- in God, his sense of justice, and the deep respect for people in life, and the wider sense of never in question. He works in Chicago, speaks fluent Italian, has lived in Rome. He's yet to get over the death of Bishop Delirio. So now we fast forward to Rome 2010. See where greed takes us. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever been woken up out of a sound suit by a phone. Put the phone. It's one of my least favorite things. <laughs> Oh, interesting. Okay. So it drops you into a very realistic. Um, this is the neo noir that we see a lot online. Welcome to Shadows on the Vatican. Learn how to play the game. Okay, so we got our flip. Our handy dandy flip mobile there. Oh, I don't want a shadow on my face here. <laughs> I think I know who he is. So what color ID is for. Hello. Hello? James. Or maybe I should call you Doctor? <laughs> Only when I'm on duty, Christophero. Not when I'm on holiday. I still can't imagine you in a white coat. The black suited you well. You've never understood a thing about style. I always said you should have been a model. <laughs> Listen, I'd like to thank you for all you did. And that friend of yours, the barman, he was really kind. He was able to organize everything without a problem. I believe it. Mario's more connected than anyone else in the neighborhood. And his relatives as well. When I decided to come back to Italy, I never could have imagined I would receive such support. It's the least I could do. After all, you came early because of me. It's just as well. If I hadn't received your invitation, I would have probably postponed my holiday once again. As I've been doing for years. <laughs> you haven't changed. Always the first in the class. So, tell me everything. What did you want to show me? You've been so mysterious. Can we meet next week? I'd like to see you sooner. How about now? Um, okay. Let's meet at Mario's bar, outside your house. Of course, but can you tell me what this is about? Africa, James. What? I want not to talk about Africa, very clearly. I'll be there. So there's this edgy style in graphics that you don't see very often. It's used in... I have a cook? <laughs> I didn't I don't know that. Tutorial, you can talk with other characters by left clicking them. Mario! What brings you into my oh. kitchen, Mario? Hey, Doc, did you sleep well? I slept like a log. The flat is perfect, thank you. Uh, don't mention it. This place belonged to my brother-in-law. I had to evict him. My goodness, it sounds like a story. Are you kidding? Of course. He's a traveler, you know, for work. One day he's here, the next day he's there. My office is the world, he says. And so this place is empty for months. Unfortunately, the TV doesn't work. So I'll have to repair it before he can use it. So no derby, Doc. 
No derby. But if you want, you can watch the match with us Averages. at the bar. <laughs> Even if you don't seem that big a fan. It's great. Thank you. I repaired my brother-in-law's car. You can use it if you want. It's downstairs. I really don't know how to thank you, Mario. Don't worry about it. As I always say, friends of my priest friends are my friends as well. Alrighty. Anything else in here I might need? Missing the fridge. Can you tell how I think? Looks like we just bounce. Head out, see Cristofel. See about the fan. Formality. Why do you keep calling me Doc? Oh, these There's are no conversational options. Call me James, please. But I act this way with all the people, like, well, like you. Which is... Those who have more brain cells than I do. <laughs> of course, that's not such a difficult task. Flatter. I think you overestimate me, Mario. Modest, wise, and above all, <laughs> very clever. I wonder how many degrees you have. Fifteen, well, give or take. Cleverness can't be measured by the number of degrees. See? What did I tell you, Doc? This is wisdom. Don't worry about the TV. It's okay this way. But you're wrong about me. I'm a great White Sox fan. Never heard of them. Do they play in third division? It's a baseball team. Baseball? That's a sport I've never understood. All those lines and rules. And why do they have to wear that big glove on just one hand? <laughs> it's not so complicated. Basically, the pitcher has to throw the ball from a distance of about 20 meters. The batter has to hit it back as far as he can. Oh, I see. Just like a penalty kick. Sort of. But without a foul in the penalty area. In baseball, you usually try to avoid contact. The goal is to beat up the ball, not each other. Ah, wimpy stuff! No offense, Doc. No problem. But it's not always that way. In the hands of a true American, a baseball bat is also the best weapon against apartment thieves. Eh, maybe it's good against American thieves. What do you mean? If you stay here long enough, you discover that for yourself. Welcome to Italy, Doc! Did Father Cristoforo tell you I might need a car? Actually, it was my idea. A holiday without a car is not a real holiday. And then, you know, we're in Rome. We have a tradition to defend. We don't have the kind of culture that, uh... How do I say...? Are you referring to public transportation? You have the gift of humor, Doc. Just like your friend. Very nice guy. That Father Cristoforo. He looks just like you, too. It's just that he's much, much more fatherly than you are. <sighs> Is it so obvious? I haven't been around the ecclesiastical community for a while. Really? How long? Eleven years. And it wasn't an easy decision, was it? What makes you say that? Because you answered me instantly, without thinking. But your answer was very accurate. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't be a good barman if I didn't understand people. Oh, I almost forgot. Here you are. The car keys. Mario, arms. forgive me, but you seem hurt. You're right, Doc. I so miss working on cars. Once I did it regularly, but now... No, no, I mean literally. Your arm is bleeding. Oh, this little cut is from a spark plug that didn't want to come out. <laughs> Don't worry. As soon as I get back to the bar, I'll spill some 1998 Barolo wine on it, and it will be okay. Oh, no, you need a few stitches. Let me do it, please. Interesting. Do you know a less painful way? Stapler? This way is less painful and much cheaper. I'll get the emergency kit. So interesting game. Um, when the cursor changes to walk symbol, it means you can move to another scene. Go to the bathroom. I have no time to read. Alrighty. <laughs> um, they're very character focused. So uh, you're going to move the storyline along by getting together with your old friend. By patching up your bartender, bartenders, bartenders, letting you stay there.
and so on. Um, and that's how you find out more about, you know, why you chose your change of career and so on. Um, it's going to be an emotionally gripping ride. So um, obviously the title kind of gives that away. Try to open it by right clicking on it. This is our pro tag right here. Um, I'm a little more focused on things that uh, a little bit less on theme and a little bit more on game mechanics. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Link in the description below. So if you're gripped, it's definitely down there. Gamer grind. A gamer coffee shipped to your door. They'll put your logo on merch for nothing bucks so you can use ours. We love the Pirate Queen logo. It's the best. And we love when you guys support people and send them to our channel. Um, KOFI, link in the description below. Buy this chick a coffee one dollar. Make me smile along with all my other social media links. Or you can just hit subscribe. Subscribing to us. I've already uh, heard the news. Subscribing to us and hitting the bell will show you a thumbnail of, you know, what's going on in the, the world <laughs> of gaming. Handy. Um, so you can, you know, kind of explore that with us and keep up on what's going on. Keep up where the trajectories There's are. There's also a silicone tube. I could use it for some small work around the house. Unless Mario does it before me, of course. And what indie devs are using to, you know, gap different things. So where the focuses are and so on. Or you can just lurk. We love when you guys follow along with us. Like I said, smash the subscribe button. We love you guys. We love that you're always along for the ride. And we'll see you in the next video.